Never. Earl's Charles snubs Meg's begging for giving Sussex Althrum House as a present after Frogmore eviction. Recently, Charles has shared an update that royal fans will be thrilled about. The 59-year-old took to social media to announce that his residence, Althrope House, has opened for the public to visit during the summer months. Making the announcement via the official Instagram account for Charles Spencer Books, the statement read, We are open to the public. Visit Althrope House until the 31st of August, 2023. The post online also features some images showing inside the property, where Charles and his sister, the late Princess Diana, were raised as children. One photo showed a sprawling dining table adorned with impeccable flower arrangements and candled brass. Another showed a wide-open hallway with historic paintings and portraits on the walls, while the third photo showed another beautiful room with two sofas and more seating arrangements, as well as a dining table in the foreground and a snooker table in the background. When Meghan Markle heard about the news, she wanted to attend a secret gathering at Althrop House to discuss Charles giving the Sussexes this house as a gift after the pair were booted out of Frogmore by King Charles. However, Charles turned down Meghan's ridiculous request and didn't invite the Sussex couple to make Meghan blush with shame. Previously, royal writer Tom Bauer suggests that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex might be leaning towards taking on Princess Diana's maiden name Spencer to resonate more with Harry's late mother's legacy. However, Charles Spencer also has exposed that Meghan Markle wants to be his adopted daughter so that the Duchess can become a member of Spencer. However, Charles is reportedly to reject that ridiculous request because he already knows that Meghan Markle just used Spencer's title to make money. According to the author, this potential name change isn't an impromptu thought, but appears to be a premeditated strategy. He added, this is not something that has just come up in their minds. They're actively trying to recast themselves as Harry and Meghan Spencer. According to the official website, avid royal fans can go along to Althrop House and see for themselves the incredible grounds and house that Charles has been in charge of for 31 years as he strives to make a positive difference by taking an uncompromising approach to the continuing well-being of Althrop. It adds, showcasing one of Europe's finest private collections of furniture, paintings, and ceramics. Each intriguing room of the magnificent family home has a fascinating story of its own. When the announcement was shared on Instagram, plenty of followers were thrilled and took to the comment section to share their excitement. One person wrote, Wow, that looks spectacular, splendid, would be one of the words Charles's ancestors might use. Another said, one of these days, I'm booking a trip from the U.S. to the U.K. with my daughter, and Althrop House is a top must-see grand house for us. A third added, so beautiful. I live in America, and I hope that I get to see it one day. Thank you for opening such a beautiful place. While a fourthly simply put, beautiful home, would love to visit one day. Meanwhile, Charles' update about Althrop comes at the same time as King Charles and Queen Camilla's visit to Scotland, where they are being honored for their coronation in a special ceremony. The King 74 and Queen 75 headed to St. Giles Cathedral, where they were joined by the Prince and Princess of Wales for a service of Thanksgiving as part of a royal week. The special week kicked off on a Monday when King Charles participated in the ceremony of keys joined by former sailors aboard Royal Yacht Britannia, which served in Edinburgh 25 years ago. On Wednesday, Charles will be receiving the honors of Scotland, the oldest crown jewels in the world, while a procession made up of a hundred-strong group takes place. The procession featured those who reflect many different walks of life from Scotland, such as Scottish Parliament, the Prince's Trust, the Robert Burns World Federation, and various workers from NHS Scotland, which is celebrating its 75th anniversary. The monarchs and other members of the royal family headed from the palace of Holyrood House to the cathedral, and that Edinburgh Castle, a gesture salute, will take place as well as fly past Kersey of the Red Arrows.